this couple you see here got married in hospital. Oh yeah, you heard me right. In the hospital. You might be curious about their wedding to place in hospital, as well as we know that hospitals are where people feel pain and sadness. Usually, every groom and bride expect a beautiful woman on their wedding day to be surrounded by their loved ones. They expect the ceremony to be perfect, everyone to have a great time dancing and celebrating the newlyweds. But what if something really bad happens on the very day before the wedding? I have been in a documentary field for so many years. I experienced many tragedy about wedding days like Francois, a man who got treated by his bride on their wedding day, Faina, who ran mad on her wedding day, or Susan from Kenya, a woman who lost her groom after he disappeared on a wedding reception. We also talked about Julian and Julie from DRC, which seems to be the same as this one but a little bit different. Today we are going to testify another unbreakable love story. Absolutely yeah, this is a love story but not like what you've known before. This is about Yonda Jijima and Bonifrit and Niita the Pacific. Other two people share such love for each other that not even a significant accident could stop them from uniting in marriage. Their wedding took place in hospital but not like Julian and Julie. You may wonder why their story is so different. My name is Pacific. We were about to go to the church for religious ceremony, but I was a little late because there were some bills that I had to pay first. Then shortly after, someone called me and told me that the car that the bride was in had an accident. At that time, I became confused and I called someone else to make sure that the accident really happened. When I realized that it was true, I immediately got shocked and fell down. As I woke up again, I found myself in the hospital. What a sad story. On the day they were supposed to get married, the car that was taking the bride to the church had an accident. Everything was ready. Their families and friends were there together to celebrate that moment. But instead of having a happy moment, it was a sad one because the bride was in an accident. I used to pray and the prophet said that God would give me a wonderful marriage. After a few days, we had a daily ceremony, and everything was just as great as we hoped. The next day, everything was also ready for a religious ceremony. The car that's supposed to take us to the church came on time. We got it normally like always, but I went to sit in the front row, me and my matron. She said no because she had a baby, so that after, we changed our seat and we head to the church. That day, Bonifred, her friends and family were going to the church, but right before they get there, something surprising happened. The driver was driving along fine and I was chatting with my husband, but when we reached at a different road, I heard something hit the car. I passed out right away and ended up in coma. After three days, I woke up from the coma. I heard some really sad news. They told me that some passengers, including my dad, had died in the accident. What a sad story. May their souls rest in eternal peace. But when God says yes, who can say no? That day, she wasn't a part of those who died. You might be curious about what happened next. Oh yeah. This is what makes their story start out from the others. I wanted to check on my wife because I didn't go there before. Because the time I knew that she had an accident, it shocked me so much that I felt like I couldn't think clearly. All I remember is that they say I should get ready for the wedding because nothing could stop it as long as we all alive, no matter what was the situation, because we loved each other. So I went to the hospital and things was ready. But when I saw my wife, I lost control and I felt really sad. They quickly took me out because of how I was feeling. I lost consciousness at that time. They brought me outside and told me that I must be passionate. And that is when I knew that I must be strong. 
Oh my god, imagine finding yourself in that situation, what will you do? Now, they were trying to finish the wedding, even when the bride was still in hospital. She was hot body with the severe injuries and she couldn't move. Using a wheelchair, they didn't have many options, so they had to have their wedding in hospital. Oh yeah, you heard me right, in the hospital. I was feeling really unwell back then. One of my legs was hurt badly and it was a big issue. They fixed my hair and found another wedding dress for me. I went to the hospital's hall in a wheelchair and then that's where we got married. Honestly, that is where I started to understand where I was. In previous days, I didn't know where I was and what's going on. On that day, they invited people to their wedding right here in hospital. The nurses, doctors, friends and family. On one day, on a day when a place was usually for pain and sadness, they changed it into a place of happiness and love. They gave each other rings and make promises that their love will never break. This is a love that cannot be broken. After that moment, my husband stayed with me almost all the time in the hospital. He took care of me, he was the one to bath me. He did everything for me. And here's how, as you see, he's the one who's taking care of me. One day when we were at the hospital, the doctor came to see me and said that I should try crutches to walk. I tried, and he saw that I could do it. Then, he told my husband that we should leave the hospital and continue taking care of me at home. So that's how we left the hospital. In the accident, two people died including her father. Others got serious injuries. Some of them are still in hospital. She got out of hospital, but she still needs more treatment. But you're not gonna believe. It's tough because they don't have enough money for it. Her husband is finding it so difficult too. He has to take care of her and work at the same time. What I'm hoping from kind people is to help me get a medical treatment I need. Then I can get strong again, go back to work, have a family like others and have a difficult life anymore. Here, the medicine they gave me didn't work well. Even when facing pain and not giving up, he notices that the strong people can be together. We should not only like their story, but also help them, take care of them, and believe in them. From their story, we need to learn that love can change things, make them better, and keep going. Thank you for being part of this story of love that can be not broken. If you're willing to help this family, a fund will be donated by givinglife.com and the link will be found in the description. I am Shema Fabris and this is Afremax English. Please don't forget to subscribe.